So to make the barrel cups, the first thing we need, uh, I'm using one of Robin's amazing 15 ounce barrel tumblers. There are bigger ones, but I've only done it on this one so far. So this tumbler has been sanded, prepped, and spray painted with a gold base. So now I'm going to do the wood green on my barrel tumbler. I've spray painted it, prepped it, and spray painted it with a gold paint. I've got uh, several browns that I usually use. I've got caramel, latte, butterscotch, sandal, and for the darker parts I have uh, teakwood and sepia. I'll list those later. So I start with one of the lighter ones, usually latte or sandal. I screw that in there. And I want to start with a fairly broad brush first and just kind of get some all over coverage, just sort of going up and down here. Just to sort of start it off. On the bottom, I just kind of go across in one direction. start adding some more colors. Got some caramel, Got some sandal. Butterscotch. And I'll add a little bit of sepia and I'll leave the teak wood for last because it's the darkest. Sepia is a bit dark too, so I don't use too much of it just to kind of get some contrasting streaks in there. Sorry, my lighting's not very good here. Not very experienced at doing these videos yet here. I don't know if that's any better or not. <laughs> okay. So it's starting to take on a bit of a wood green look to it. I'm 
just kind of keep going over it and over it and until you kind of got everything kind of filled with something and don't forget the bottom. I'm keeping this fairly light looking at this point because the I want to do the shadowing in between the boards and that's going to be darker so I don't want it too dark to begin with or that's not going to show up and you can use a little bit of alcohol you know if it if you don't like an area and you want to kind of fix it up a bit <laughs> now this next part you can either draw some measurements I usually go about an inch apart you can eyeball it or you can make some marks. But you get a finer brush. And some teak wood. Now I, you can either eyeball this or you could maybe draw some faint lines on with pencil or something if you don't trust yourself, but I'm going to kind of slowly going to make, start making some straight up lines. Another thing you can do is you can wait until after and just use like a brown sharpie pen or something to draw these on later but I think they look more realistic if you do them in the alcohol ink. You can always go back and fix them up later but sort of get get them on first so I'm gonna go directly across from that one on the opposite side and at this point you're just kind of getting them where they're gonna be Can fix them up later Do a middle point there as well between those lines. So I've kind of got it quartered right now. I'm 
Go ahead and go in between there. So you should end up with eight sections, unless you want to go smaller. You could go even smaller and go in between those as well. alcohol ink kind of dries out I just sort of give it a quick spritz of alcohol just to wake it up again now the barrel bands I did make a digital file for and I will post a link for that if you want and the uh, Jack Daniels logo you might I've sized it for the bigger the bigger uh, tumblers so you might have to cut down the bounds a bit for these smaller ones uh, and the Jack Daniels logo you might want to make a little bit smaller as well so you don't have to make slits to get it to fit properly. And I'm just sort of figuring out my placement right now for these lines. I'm not too worried about how they look yet. And I think I'm going to do one more in between all of these. And again, they don't have to be perfect right now. You're just kind of figuring out the placement. This is kind of a boring part. And the nice thing about alcohol ink is if you don't like it, you just wipe it off and start over.
And now once you got your lines on there, you can kind of eyeball it and make sure that they look straight. And if they don't, you can kind of fix them up a bit. And then I get some more of my ink. Let's get some more sepia. And a little more teak wood. And I'm going to go back and kind of define these now. And you can go and you can make the odd little see this um, a little knot in the wood You don't want to get anything too dark or your Jack Daniels logo isn't going to show up very well. So you want to try and keep the wood fairly light looking if you can. Um, but, you know, add a little bit of character here and there. So I'm not going to make you watch this whole thing, but you just kind of keep going over it until you're happy with it and you know it can use a little bit of alcohol if, you know if it's if you got to move a line a little bit push it over a little bit get some other color streaks in there a little bit you just kind of keep playing with it until you get it how you want um, on the bottom kind of make it look like boards running across connecting it to some of my lines that I've got going already and I'll make those look better after as well so I'm just going to keep kind of playing with this until I like the way it looks and it's just not really a right or wrong way of doing it. You just kind of keep getting it until it looks like in between the wood. Get some other lighter colors on there if it's starting to get too dark. And you just kind of keep playing until you get it to how you like it. Okay, so this is pretty much where I want it to be now. Um, I don't want the lines between the wood pieces too thick, just sort of a subtle little dark spot there. And I'm going to coat it with quick coat and then a thin layer of resin, and then I can put the water slide and the bands and the, the little nuts on. Okay? So for the bands, you can either do a water slide and then after you put two coats of sealer, put a coat of white a white spray paint and then another coat of clear sealer so that it brings out the colors and it's not transparent or you can print the bands on printable vinyl. Okay so I did the printable vinyl for my band. Um, 
I've sized these so that they can go on the 25 ounce spiral tumbler or the 15 ounce. So if you're doing the 15 ounce, you might have to just trim about a half an inch off the end to make it fit. I usually do it off the darker end because I like when it comes around and it overlaps just a little bit and you can see that differentiation between the two colors. So, let's see here. So you might have to take this on and off a little bit until you get it the way you want it, but I generally go down about a three quarters of an inch or so. And you can kind of stretch it slightly to go around. And it should overlap just a little bit like that. And give it a good rub, make sure it's on, and then do the bottom one same way. On the bottom one, the curve goes this way. So for the bolts on the uh, tumbler, I found these, but I don't have oops, enough of them. So I'm going to try and source out some more because I think those would look really cool. On it if I can get some more of them but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use brads just little fastener brads like this if you can see that and I'm just gonna wiggle the ends off if you try to snip them off you end up with a little sharp piece underneath so I just uh, I don't know if you can see this kind of wiggle this back and forth until it snaps off that and then it makes a clean break I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, it'll look like that like that also if you try snip them off the ends tend to fly off into outer space and you never see them again um, I'm going to attach them using this glue here and just going to evenly space them out around the band. So I've got the little brads on now. I lied, I didn't end up using the glue, I used uh, UV resin instead. They're about one every inch and I used uh, 24 of them. So yeah. So I'm going to put a layer of resin on it now, and then it'll be ready for the decal. So now that I have all this done, I'm ready for my Jack Daniels logo water slide. And then one more coat of resin and it should be all done. So I've got these as a water slide with a clear background. I'm going to put one on each side, and then it's pretty much done.